Dave, uh, welcome to Tally Curl. Thanks for having me. It's a different property he's put together. Uh, my father started with the property Tally Curl, which was named after the original farm in Northern Ireland. And since then we've managed to put together a lot of smaller farms back to make a bigger farm as a family operation. Through travels into, in particular, South America, we saw head sheep and decided that we would embark on trying to produce a head sheep. So from that, we then embarked a group of us to produce a sheep called an Australian white. And off the back of that, we think we've come up with some pretty incredible stuff in eating quality. We believe eating quality is going to be the future of the protein market around the world, not just in Australia. In the industry today, we know that everybody's concerned with costs. A lot of people don't want to be shearing sheep or treating flies, so with a head sheep, you, you don't have the cost of uh, the chemicals either. Yeah. So it's much uh, a much better way of just producing meat is to be basically like little cattle. As natural as possible. As natural as possible. These are the traits that we're breeding for, is this hair. So they're all hair at birth. Uh, black feet, so strong feet in wet conditions. Dark pigment, so you see the dark pigment here, and on the nose and eyes, so that's less skin cancers. The hair's actually a heterotypic fibre, so that means that it's hollow. So does that keep it cooler in the summer? It does. And... Yeah, it's yeah. like insulation. So this animal lives in very hot conditions and very cold conditions. We found when we cooked it last night that all of those fine layers of fat, when they cook out, it gives it such a, like a fine, delicate texture. It's yeah. incredible. So you can still see the IMF or the intramuscular fat in there, and that's what gives it the, the taste, the texture, the juiciness, and also the flavour. That's incredible. You just don't see that in lamb. Marbling's out of control. The aroma comes in when most of these intramuscular fat begin to melt as you cook. Yeah. And so the proteins that are trapped in and the fatty acids begin to melt. And that's what really catches the, uh, the aroma comes out of there. It's yeah. incredible how noticeable the, the melting point of the fat is. Just, yeah, it melts and it softens so differently. Yeah, we can't wait to, to tuck into this lamb. It looks magnificent. Mm.